So let's look at the anatomical characteristics that we use to distinguish between our motor pathways. This is the picture that we just drew, and we know if we're looking at this thing, what we know is that both of them, both of these guys actually, both somatic motor and visceral motor of both flavors, travel through the anterior gray horn and through the um, anterior root. So check it out. This is not a surprise to you. I did it in green, didn't I? We're going to have green fibers passing through my anterior root. We're going to have visceral motor fibers passing through my anterior root. We're going to have the light green fibers as well. We might as well throw those guys in there while we can. They're in here also. And everybody's going through the anterior root. Where are the cell bodies, though? Well, we know that visceral, I mean the somatic motor, the cell bodies are in the anterior gray horn. What do we know about visceral motor cell bodies? We do. We know that they're in the lateral gray horn. We know both flavors of visceral motor cell bodies are found in the lateral gray horn. Let's go back and look at this again and see if we can identify some other anatomical characteristics that we can list to distinguish between our two motor pathways. What do you notice about the somatic motor? Dude, it's one neuron, and we've talked about this. It's one neuron from the anterior gray horn, that's where the cell body is, out through the spinal nerve and into the periphery to innervate a skeletal muscle anywhere on your body. And that's one neuron. The message comes from the brain, contract a skeletal muscle, and one neuron delivers that message. That's why those cell bodies in the anterior gray horn are so huge. What do you notice about our visceral motor? All of our visceral motor pathways are two neuron pathways. There's one neuron, here's a second neuron. Here's one neuron, here's a second neuron. All of them are that way. Hmm, what else is, oh, interesting. Somatic motor, these neurons are found all the way through our entire central nervous system. We have fibers coming out of our brain that are doing somatic motor. Cranial nerves have somatic motor fibers in them, all the way down to our sacral spinal nerves. All of these guys can be somatic motor. So somatic motor can be anywhere. However, Visceral motor, not so. I drew them where I wanted them. What do you notice? My dark green visceral motor, this is another name for this flavor of visceral motor is uh, craniosacral, craniosacral. Why? Cranium, sacrum. So these are actually found in the cranium and at spinal nerve S2 to S4. But that wasn't our only flavor of visceral motor. We also had the light green flavor of visceral motor, and we'll talk about what these flavors are. Where do you notice that I put these guys? These are called also the thoracolumbar, thoracolumbar. Of course, there's 32 names for everything that we have to know. And they are found in T1 to L2. So anywhere in this zone, you're going to find the light green flavor of visceral motor fiber. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you notice that we've got the two neuron chain, and we already said that. And, yeah, we're good. Okay, so now we've compared and contrasted all of, our vis all of our motor pathways, all our efferent pathways. Now let's take a closer look 
and compare our two visceral motor pathways.